Now, you mentioned that not much has changed since that uh, cybersecurity attack mid last year. Why do you think that wasn't the wake up call for things to be you know, done urgently about this? Yeah, uh, Ash, I think companies, you know, I, they still, I think they need to start with some basic stuff, but I don't think the basics is that well known in the market. So, you know, um, things they could do, you know, simply probably for most companies, just do a cyber risk assessment to understand where the gaps might be in their cyber defence. You know, uh, as you mentioned right off the top, COVID-19 has obviously increased the risk with, you know, people working remotely or from home. So even something like secure home Wi-Fi for staff who are working remotely can be a great place to start. You know, make sure updates are done uh, and patches applied as soon as they're available. Um, you know, so automatic updates wherever possible. Um, having password managers and, and two-factor or multi-factor authentication, you know, like biometric or a SMS or something outside the norm. Um, IBM produced a report back in 2018 that looked back at a, a decade of um, attacks and said that these two measures alone would have prevented over 70% or almost close to 80% of attacks that had occurred over that period. So, you know, that, that's a situation where you, where most attackers are successful. People log in, they can screen, see their screen and see them putting in their uh, address um, and their uh, password. So having a, a two-factor will actually prevent that and having a password manager, obviously. Look, from a business point of view too, educate the staff. They need to be taught what to look out for and be constantly on guard. You know, technology alone won't save people from a phishing attack. You know, and attacks are inevitably uh, going to happen. So you also need to train them uh, if something does happen, like have an incident plan like you do with a fire plan and therefore test the plan and, and have drills around that, you know, about who does what. Also, uh, we spoke about sort of crown jewels before off the top with Sequoia, but you need to identify the crown jewels in your own business or your own life, really. What are the key assets that you must be protecting? So like your house, how much protection do you give your items? Do you have, do you have a safe, you know, locks on your windows, deadlocks, cameras? Etc. and work out what level of protection you're wanting to go with that you're comfortable with is going to help you sleep at night, you know, have backups in place too. This is especially important with ransomware. Daily is great, but just think about how much data you're comfortable missing out on. So if you back up once a week and you get a ransom attack, uh, you know, could you afford to lose up to a week's worth of data? Um, people often pay the ransom, unfortunately, too. And in 50% of cases, even after payment, they still don't receive, uh, you know, their data or their information back.